Hello, friends. Jim here. Welcome to Science Talk. This is a very interesting article that was published on the Alaska Beacon. Humpback whales increasingly sighted in Arctic Alaska waters, which is pretty much bowhead whale territory. Study which points to climate change as a possible factor pushing humpbacks north shows results that are fascinating and a little terrifying. And there's a humpy doing a nice little breaching. But this photo is taken in the Kenai Fjords. Now, Kenai Fjords is, is you know, basically Gulf of Alaska, which is subarctic waters. I mean, usually in the past, you know, humpback whales came to Prince William Sound, Gulf of Alaska. You know, see them along southeast Alaska. You don't see them in the Bering Sea going into the Chukchi Sea. That seems to be what's going on. Kayon Hacharek was hunting for bowhead whales in the spring of 07 when he first saw a humpback whale in the waters off Ukiakvik. That used to be called Barrow. <laughs> Barrow, or uh, Ukiakvik, is the, the furthermost northern, uh, the furthermost northern point of land on the North American continent. And he saw a humpback whale there. And that was in the Beaufort Sea, well north of where these whales are usually found. Should have been a bowhead, because that's all that's ever up there that time of year. That is no longer the case. Humpback whales, better known in the waters between the tropics and the Bering Sea, are now commonly spotted in Alaska's Arctic waters. A recently published study co-authored by Hacherick reviews the multitude of sightings since this 07 encounter, and it shows how they have increased exponentially. Now, here's a photo of a bowhead whale and with her calf. Now you can see the difference in the tail flukes. It's much narrower and straight across compared to what the humpbacks are. And it's swimming in some open waters here, but you can see some ice right here, right? And the bowheads have really thick bow-shaped skulls, hence the name, that basically they use to punch through the ice so they can breathe. Kind of important. <clears throat> Aerial surveys conducted from 2009 to 2019 by uh, uh, NOAA, Alaska's Fishery Science Center, tallied 150 sightings of 220 humpback whales in the Arctic waters with twice as many sightings between 2017 and 2019 as in the three years prior. Most of the humpbacks were seen between 67 and 68 degrees north latitude thereabouts, which is slightly north of Kotzebue. It appears that there is some sort of feeding hotspot near the Inupiat village of Point Hope that is drawing large numbers of humpback whales, said lead author Kate Stafford of Oregon State University's Marine Mammal Institute. <clears throat> Farther north, where Hotrick's 2007 encounter with a humpback is one of the first ever reported in the waters off Ukiakovic, the total sightings have not been as numerous, but there has been a similar increase in recent years. Data collected by the North Slope Borough's Department of Wildlife Management shows that the, from 2020 to 2022, there were six nearshore sightings of humpback whales in the far north waters, some with multiple animals, according to the study. In one single event in 2022, 10 humpback whales were seen breaching, slapping their pectoral fins on the water. Patrick, who says he sees a humpback whale darn near every time I go boating, has mixed uh, notions about the new arrivals. 
Here's a photo of a bowhead whale skull from August 6, 2022. And this is a common thing that we see uh, if you go up to Utkiakvik. Um, the, the natives uh, uh, up there are allowed to harvest uh, one bowhead whale per year, which they use for, for various uh, purposes, obviously food being one of them. And they tend to, you see another one back there, they tend to leave the skull uh, on the shoreline there. The ocean is probably off this way in the background there. It's fascinating to see new species. However, we don't know what impact that is going to have on the whales that we live off of, meaning the bowheads. <clears throat> Analyst for the study, Stafford said, was a 2021 boat survey with the late Craig George, the renowned whale biologist who worked for decades at the North Slope Burroughs Wildlife Department. They were watching a whale feeding in the Beaufort Sea that they assumed was a bowhead. Looking closer, they saw the distinctive fin of a humpback whale. This is the distinctive fin, the little pointy dorsal fin right there. That led them to search of records kept by the borough and consultations with Nupiat residents. And, uh, you know, Craig George was, uh, you know, he, he, he has passed on, but he was well respected. Uh, very good scientist and, and biologist and uh, full of knowledge. And uh, so his passing is, of course, is a loss. <clears throat> Nupiat hunting tradition targets bowheads and belugas. Belugas are the uh, commonly called the canaries of the oceans. The, those the uh, the white whales with the, with the large melons on their heads there. <clears throat> Very cute uh, species. In contrast, Alaska's humpback whales spend parts of their lives in the warm climate, wintering in Hawaii, Mexico, waters off Japan, the Philippines, and so forth. There are five population groups of North Pacific humpback whales, three of which summer in Alaska waters. They're commonly seen in Southeast, South Central, and the Bering. They were known to occasionally range into the southern Chukchi, just above the Bering Strait, but those appearances were rare until now. The new study published in the journal Marine Mammal Science shows that range has expanded farther north still. <clears throat> Possible explanation for this expansion is climate change. Long-term warming has reduced Arctic sea ice, not only in the summer melt season, but as we, and, and I've discussed this with you numerous times, we're seeing reduced ice year round. <clears throat> if lack of sea ice is a factor, humpback whales are not the only species taking advantage to expand northward. Previous studies have shown how orcas are increasingly present in Arctic waters used by bowheads. One of those studies led by George and published in 2017 tracked the trend for wounds in the bodies of harvested bowheads and found increasing incidence of orca bite marks. Okay. They're called killer whales where they kill whale, but the, the correct term is orca, so I'm going to be saying orca. A related study published in 2020 provided direct evidence of orcas preying on Arctic bowheads. Another factor that uh, might be at play, also related to climate change, may be warmth-driven changes in the food web that created more favorable foraging conditions for humpback whales. There is a, a photo of uh, Craig George, and uh, he died while rafting. It was an accident. Now, another possibility is the steady increase in the North Pacific humpback population. Humpbacks have thrived sufficiently in recent years that some are no longer considered members of an endangered or threatened species. Previously, all humpback whales were worldwide were listed as endangered. In 2016, NOAA Fisheries identified 14 distinct 
population segments and determined that Endangered Species Act protections were no longer warranted for most of those. <clears throat> so can't allow whaling to take place. Of the three distinct population segments that swim in Alaska waters, one is classified as endangered, one as threatened, and one which winters in Hawaii no longer has any Endangered Species Act listing. So, this is very interesting. You have heard me discuss with you in prior videos how because of the, the warming climate and the warming oceans, <clears throat> that species are moving northward. They're moving northward to find uh, more comfortable water temperatures. Because you're, when you're immersed in water, you're immersed in water. And if it gets too warm for you, that can speed up your metabolic rate, <clears throat> which may remove energy that can be put, as, put aside to form gametes. <clears throat> or, you, you know, it, you, know, you want to find temp, water temperatures that are more comfortable for you. But when in doing so, you're either going to move north or move deeper, or both. And then, where's your food going to be? Got to find your food. Well, it looks like here, we're seeing a situation where humpbacks are moving north and they're finding food. Now, the question is, are they moving north because the waters are getting too warm? Or are they moving north because they found a new su a food supply? Or both. Or did they move north to get to more comfortable water temperatures and happen to... Uh, chance upon this food supply. These are questions that need investigation. But we are, we are seeing more and more of this, that species of various taxa are moving poleward. <clears throat> See the same thing in the southern hemisphere. They're moving from low latitudes to high latitudes to find more comfortable water temperature, and then hopefully in pursuit of food that they can find it there. So they are responding to the changing environmental conditions. This is just one example. As I said, it's happening across many, many species. So this is interesting, and I wanted to share this with you. Thank you for your time.